earlier this month, we witnessed Mitch McConnell going into factory default reset mode. After finishing the NDA uh, this week, it's been good bipartisan cooperation and a string of... And now the backlash has just begun. Hi, I'm Steve Inman with Resist the Mainstream. Make sure to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. Well, Mitch McConnell is back in the spotlight once again after his freezing moment, along with Senator Dianne Feinstein's irresponsive moment. Senator Feinstein. Um, say aye. Pardon me? Aye. Yeah. Uh... I, I would like to support a yes vote on this. Um, it provides $823 billion. That's an increase of $26 billion for the Department of Defense. And the, it funds priorities submitted. Yeah, just say aye. Okay, just aye. Aye. <laughs> Thank you. Senator Durbin. Mitch McConnell, Diane Feinstein, Jerry Nadler, just to name a few. Would, would the gentleman you? Sure. I mean, these, these are your words. You said, quote, there should be substantial cuts to the police budget, unquote. So they cut $1 billion. Yes, exactly. Um, Reclaiming they, my time. Yes, that's exactly what I said. And, it's exa and what I meant was what I said a moment ago. They should cut substantial funds from the police to give it to mental health. How did that work out? We just had worked, a field hearing down there. It wasn't, it wasn't it worked pretty. out very well, the United, the United States. The, the city of New York, the crime statistics tell us the city of New York is the safest large city in the United States in terms of crime. Mr. Ranking Member, that is not what the witnesses presented in our field hearing. The witnesses you presented in your field hearing uh, were only able to testify as to individual experiences. Mm. Well, they said it's the most fearful time ever to live well, in the city. It might have can, something to do with people, defunding the people, police. People, reclaiming my time, people who, want, who can who read the New York Post or the New York uh, Daily News, uh, which follow the tabloid tradition of it, if it bleeds, it leads, could get that impression. But the statistics are what I said. Are what I said. Do you feel safe walking in New York City? Yes, I do. Do you? I do. That's not the sentiment of your constituents. There are many of them, I'll tell you that. Well, it's the sentiment of a lot of them. And the fact is, our crime rates are down, and uh, it is a safe city, whatever the sentiments of some people who may get uh, wrong impressions. I yield back. This obviously has everybody bringing up term limits once again. This time, the people aren't mincing their words anymore, letting Mitch McConnell know that it's time to retire, 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 as seen here. Even President Donald Trump weighed in on the subject, quoting, I agree. Boo. Retire, retire, retire. Boo. Why would anybody put themselves through this misery when they can barely even walk to the kitchen without their Windows operating system shutting down along the way? The media will try and guilt people into thinking it's not okay to call this out, but it's our duty as Americans to call all these walking zombies out. I don't care about your feelings. It's time to stop caring about the health of these politicians as well and start caring about the health of the Americans. These people are on their way out. Do you really think they care about you? Absolutely not. To think that these people are actually making decisions behind the scenes would be absolute stupidity. Their handlers are in control. Their handlers are more than likely not even experienced in life yet. And the only experience these, li these handlers probably have is living in their mom's basement. These old politicians are nothing more than a walking shell, fooling the masses with their fake merits they've earned over the years. All feelings aside, these people belong in a convalescent home. 
Yet these puppets are still running the country. Again, I'm Steve Inman. Make sure to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. Until next time, take care, resist the mainstream, and we'll see you then.